Hello everyone, Adrian here with yet another absinthe review. Yes, I know, I just posted one, but I'm really feeling on a roll and I want to go ahead and get the samples that I have not yet reviewed kind of out of the way because I do have some new absinthe coming in the mail pretty soon. I'm very excited about it. So I am particularly excited about the absinthe I'm going to be reviewing today. It is called Justifié et Ancienne. So kind of a mouthful in French, I do admit, just saying. <laughs> but when translated from French, it actually means justified and ancient. So I already really like the name of this absinthe. And let's go ahead and read a little bit about it. It is made in the Czech Republic, and from what I understand, and having interacted very briefly with the owner of this distillery earlier this week, which I had the pleasure of doing in this kind of uh, group chat sort of thing, but anyway. Um, so as far as this absinthe is concerned, it is from the Czech Republic. It is done in the very traditional French style, so that is living proof that not all Czech absinthe is crap, okay? I'm not saying all absinthe made in this country is crap, there are some exceptions. So, anyway. Justifié et ancienne bears Martin Zufanek's unmistakable hallmark, and it's his version of a pre-band style absinthe. This absinthe is based on a wine spirit that was distilled in 2013 and stored in oak barrels since then. Martin added the finest herbs to his wine base and put the distilled absinthe back into a French oak barrel. Ooh, ooh, ooh baby. <laughs> Not gonna lie, my mouth is watering a little bit. I absolutely love it when absinthe is aged in oak barrels, and I love it even more when it's in a wine base. It's brilliant. Justifié et ancienne is not a rebranded absinthe l'ancienne, even though there are some similarities. The same wine spirit, selected herbs, and the aging in a barrel. However, Martin used more herbs in the recipe for Justifié et ancienne, giving it a softer, more floral, and herbal taste. Ooh, ooh, baby, I'm getting really excited about that. So guys, as you can see, there is a huge emphasis on pre-ban quality, kind of floral and herbal profile here as far as the flavor is concerned. I'm really, really excited. And again, the fact that this is made in the Czech Republic and is not going to be in the same line as the kind of Crapsinth brand we've come to associate with Absinthe in the Czech Republic, I'm really, really excited about this. And once again, big thanks to Rory for sending this to me to review on this channel. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I'm really excited about this one. All right, guys, so I'm going to reposition the camera. I'm going to add some ice water into my fountain and we are going to do the preparation of Justifié et Ancienne. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how much. <sighs> All right, guys, so here we are ready to consume our glass of Justifié et Ancien absinthe. So here's a little sample size. Again, guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am to try this. Just based on the description alone, like I said, my mouth was just watering. <gasps> Ooh, that's a really nice color. All right, so just based on the appearance, it's a little bit more on the gold side, but not that there's anything wrong with that. That is a really beautiful, clear golden color. I imagine it'll turn a bit more green once we begin the process of the louche. So for appearance, right off the bat, four stars. It's not quite as green or as jewel-like as maybe I would prefer, but it's a very rich, beautiful golden color. Going by color alone, it is authentic. I'm guessing that the aging of the absinthe in the wine barrels probably can account for the deeper golden color that we're seeing here today. So yes, right off the bat, four stars on its appearance. All right, so let's go ahead and begin the process of the louche. Oh gosh, guys, I'm so excited. You cannot even imagine.
Ooh, right. Oh my God. Wow. That is immediately very thick, very opalescent. Gosh, look at that. I have not seen that in a very long time. Wow. Guys, again, I wish smell of vision was a thing. This smells incredible. This is absolutely gorgeous. Again, not quite as green as I would maybe prefer, but there are just a tiny bit of green tones in this absinthe. It's a little bit more on the kind of uh, cream color. Kind of like a buttery cream color, yeah. And just in case I forgot to mention it, which I'm pretty sure I did, but this is 65% alcohol, so a bit on the stronger side. So guys, as you can see, this is a very thick, opalescent, creamy louche. This is exactly what we want with absinthe. I will take a point away for it not being quite as much of like a creamy jade color as I would mostly prefer, but that's fine. Sometimes I can't really be avoided. But that's beautiful. That is thick. Definitely thick. So, as far as the louche is concerned, I will definitely give it four stars for the louche. So, so far, we are doing great as far as rating is concerned. Definitely an improvement on the last one that I just reviewed. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now comes the point where I will once again reposition the camera and we will rate it on its aroma as well as its flavor and its mouthfeel. And again, guys... I do my first taste of absinthe without sugar so that I can ascertain the quality because if it's a low quality absinthe it will not have a natural sweetness. If it's a higher quality absinthe it means that the extract from the wormwood was processed correctly. Wormwood is kind of like a secret hidden treasure. You need to know exactly how to extract it in order to get that hidden sweetness. And again, it's difficult to determine any kind of other nuances that you may taste as far as a new glass of absinthe is concerned. So that's why I always do these reviews without sugar. So don't come after me. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and proceed to the next part. So guys, here we are with our glass of Justifié et Ancienne. So once again, I am so excited for this. You have no idea. Like, it's taking every ounce of willpower for me to not be going in for a taste right now. So, wow. It's, mm, guys. Guys. Alright, so we're going to get a load of the aroma and rate that. And once we are done with that part, we are going to go in for a taste. That one is definitely very floral and spicy at the same time. Now, when I say spicy, I don't really mean to say like spicy as in like picante, like hot spicy. I mean to say spicy as in very herbal forward, which is great. We want that kind of herbal complexity with absinthe. We don't want it to taste like candy. <laughs> I'm really having a hard time with detecting what sort of flower that is that's hanging around in there. It's, it's like a fresh spring day. Like you know how most of the time I kind of uh, compare the aroma of some absinthe to like a fresh winter air sort of thing? No, this is a fresh spring day from how beautifully floral this is. I can definitely smell the wormwood. It's giving me that kind of sagey sort of flavor. If 
hell, there might even be some sort of sage in here, for all I know. <laughs> There's something a little peppery about it. Not that I'm complaining, of course, but gosh, that is just... I almost want to rub it on my body. Like, that's how good it is. <laughs> you know, absinthe has actually been used in the past as an aphrodisiac, so... Um, if you guys watch my video on my review of uh, Absinthe the Exquisite Elixir, there's a story of a man in Yakima in the very late 19th century using a few drops of absinthe in his mustache and his beard to attract the ladies. And, girl, let me tell you, if it had been me and I smelled that, I'd be there in a heartbeat. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, man, it's... It's spicy, it's a little bit sweet, it's floral. I'm really excited to try it. All right, so enough jibber jabber. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give my rating for aroma. I'm gonna give the aroma a four and a half out of five stars because that's incredible. It's very complex, it's pleasant, it's fresh, it's floral, I love it. And now that I'm looking at it like a little bit closer up and not quite as illuminated, um, by my ring light. It is a little bit greener than I initially thought, but it's still a little bit more on the gold side as far as I'm concerned. But nevertheless, my rating still stands. All right, let's go in for a taste. <laughs> so guys, as always, salte and please drink responsibly. Guys, that is really good. For this not being a jade, and you know, for me, jade liqueurs is kind of like my gold or platinum standard as far as absinthe is concerned. For this to not be a jade, but still have that amazing complexity and the just the right amount of tingle on your tongue and that really nice kind of floral lingering perfume. Oh. This is really good, guys. This is definitely a really nice departure from my previous one that I reviewed. Oh, wow, that's really... So there's not necessarily anything unique about this absinthe except for how high of a quality it is for coming from the Czech Republic. Again, I'm not saying that everything as far as ab absinthe is concerned coming from the Czech Republic is crap. I'm just saying that in spite of the reputation that Czech Absinthe has, this is top notch. This is great. So with most Absinthe, when I inhale, I get that fresh winter air thing. But this time around with this one, I'm getting more kind of like a floral spicy finish on it. I want to say there is like kind of a a different herb in there that is giving me more of that bite. I can't really pinpoint exactly what it is, but it's lovely. It kind of a little bit reminds me of rosemary. I love rosemary. Anything with rosemary, I will pounce on in a heartbeat. Hell, rosemary and olive oil is actually one of my favorite flavors of Triscuits. <laughs> Woo! Stuff's so good. Herbs de Provence. That's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of drinking a liquid form of Herbes de Provence. And for me, that really puts this at a top-notch kind of level. That's exactly what this reminds me of. And it has just enough natural sweetness, but it's not too overpowering. As a matter of fact, I'm really looking forward to trying this with sugar. Like, I'm really looking forward to seeing how things will present with this one with sugar, which I will be doing a tech talk with the full preparation shortly after I'm done filming this video. It has a really silky mouthfeel. It coats the inside of the mouth very, very well. And then it leaves that really nice tingle on the tongue and even under the tongue too, for that matter. 
So, as far as taste is concerned, I would definitely give this four and a half stars because nothing's perfect. Nothing is absolutely perfect. And as far as mouthfeel is concerned, also four and a half stars. That is amazing. <sighs> and even the sweetness kind of lingers behind on the tongue on that one. That's really nice. See guys, there's a reason why I get really, really excited about absinthe that has a, like a grape neutral spirit and or is aged in a wine barrel. Oh, it really just sets it on a whole other level as far as absinthe is concerned. Like, it really elevates it from, you know, kind of ordinary, nothing special, to really extraordinary and lovely. This is incredible. If you had handed this to me and told me it was a jade, I would probably believe you. <laughs> Aside from the color that is. That would be, for me, the dead giveaway that it wasn't a jade. But everything else about it is lovely. Like, I'm really excited to say that this breaks the stereotype for Czech Absinthe. All right, so overall rating. So for appearance, it has four stars. For Louche, it has four stars. For Aroma, definitely like four and a half stars. And then Flavor, four and a half stars. And Mouthfeel, four stars. Like. This is extraordinary. This is really high quality, something that you definitely would not expect as far as Czech absinthe is concerned. Whew, that's making my mouth water. <laughs> I want another glass. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for joining me for this absinthe review. This one is absolutely incredible. I highly recommend that you get your paws on it. I will leave links for it in the description below so that you can get your paws on it because I highly, recommend it. If you are someone who is looking to basically be disproven about the stereotype of Czech absinthe, then definitely get this one. If you want something that has the top-notch French pre-band quality, get this. I am not joking. If you are a big fan of jade absinths, get this. I am not joking. This is fantastic. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. And if you are interested, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more videos on absinthe and gothic literature and goth music and other wonderful things. Thank you so much to my patrons who support me on Patreon every single month. You guys are just splendid. You're perfectly splendid. <laughs> and to everyone, you're amazing. I love you and I will see you guys later. Bye.